That's what we're talking about. Beautiful. Down with the sickness. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do Horde Knight uh, 63. It's going to start here pretty soon, but before we do, I want to show you that I've gathered all of the stuff here that we need to make a Kim bench, because uh, we found that in the last uh, episode. So we got our, we're got we going to have our own Kim bench. That means we don't have to run all the way back over to uh, the traders when we need to make stuff. Let's fix our graphics, too. And uh, so, yeah, we're we're all ready to go for Horde Knight. Um, I've got, let's take a look here. So we're going to use a sledge and the katana mostly, uh, but I do have a little over a stack of shotgun shells. I'm bringing the pipe bombs, though. They don't really work very well in our current melee-based design. And then I have stuff also for repairing. Um, so I went down below to the bottom of the pit, and I upgraded all of the the lower blocks uh, the ramp to reinforced concrete and um i'm not i won't be surprised if it doesn't hold up for the entire night but uh it should hold up for much longer than it did before so let's go down and take a quick look at that i think we have enough time uh, to do that and i'm still you know i spent a little more time digging the stone down further i mean eventually I'm planning on getting all of this stone dug out uh, all the way to the bottom. Um, and hopefully, you know, we'll come across an auger here fairly soon. But if not, you know, I'll just keep doing it by hand. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. So, yeah, we got this all upgraded here to reinforced. I didn't get this upgraded, but if I try and upgrade it uh, now, it's going to be softer than it is. So we're just going to leave it alone. But hopefully the idea here is that the zombies can more easily get up here and it will discourage them from you know, banging on this, because it's this area here that they're most likely to destroy. Um, so, yeah, they will uh, they will take a little bit of fall damage when they come down here. So if we can get bleeds on them in addition to that, uh, chances are a lot of them will, will just die outright. Uh, well, not outright, but, I mean, die before they have a chance to get back up at the ramp. Did we have ramp damage? I think that I was just looking at stone there. And it's my plan to eventually have this entire ramp upgraded to reinforced concrete. Okay, I think the ramp is in good shape. So let's head on back up here. That's, yeah, that's just the stone. Do I have cobble on me? I do. I mean, we can hit it. Might as well, I guess. So we'll see how things go. Um, Do we have damage? It's just the stone. I, I, I'm not, uh, and I mentioned this before, I'm not really planning on using this horde base for the whole rest of this series. It was just a different setup, you know, a melee setup. What, you know, it's going to really, if, if we can get the zombies to cycle for the whole night or for most of the night, it's going to really help us level up, um, you know, like our sledgehammer skill in particular because it's a melee-based design. Uh, but I'm probably going to go back to uh, an explos explosive pit kind of design. We might even go back to our original, you know, base and... Um, just you know beef that up too and uh, can you know just continue using the explosives because that's where you really you know get tons of xp so uh, this building does have a land claim block in it too so we shouldn't have sleepers uh, yeah, we got the land claim right there and yeah so i got it got it upgraded as best as i can um you know as you guys know if you've been you know following me all along here the thing that holds us back is the jars, uh, because in Ravenhurst, if you didn't know this, if you're new or whatever, uh, in Ravenhurst, you have to have a murky, a jar of murky water to make concrete. And uh, so I've just really been having a struggle, you know, keeping enough jars on hand for that and for, you know, making glue and for making beverages and that sort of thing. It's just been a royal pain in the butt. And you can't make the jars in, um, you know, in the normal forge, you have to have what's called the blacksmith's forge, and you can't make that until you hit intellect level 10 um, and also advanced engineering level 5 in order to actually make that. So, yeah, this this mod is just, it is a constant struggle, and that's not a bad thing. You know, I complain about it sometimes, but overall, I'm enjoying Ravenhurst quite a bit, um, and, you know, the struggle just makes everything worth 
uh, you know, much more worthwhile once you finally do kind of obtain whatever your goal happens to be. So, all right, well, um, I think we're just going to kind of hang out here and wait until the Horde Night starts, and then we'll start bashing some heads. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to pop one of these. Need a little bit of food and hydration, but that's also going to up my stamina cap, too. And let's see how things go tonight. We already got a pumpkin head. Look at that. Oh, see him, sucker. He's down already. He's got a hard head. There, we got the guy behind him. How funny is that? Okay, let's get some uh, some bleeds going. Basically, what we'll do is we'll use the sledgehammer until we run out of stamina, and then we'll switch to the knife. There we go. Oh, I thought you already fell down. Okay, he's dead. He just doesn't know yet. I hear a mummy. There he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, he tagged us. Ow? That hurt. Oh, we got that burner guy. No, he dead now. <laughs> I'm glad that fire doesn't hurt us after the fact. Apparently it only hurts you when it if it hits you. Alright, come on, stamina. Whoa. He looked like he was all the way in here. Oh, we forgot to look and see where we're at. So we have 2764 kills. We're game stage 94. Don't look at how many deaths I have. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I don't usually have that many deaths for an entire play, th entire series in this game. But this is Ravenhurst, you know. Okay, stay away from this guy. He hits hard. Here another zombo or something something nasty. Pumpkin head. Wonder if pumpkin head can bleed. I don't know. Okay, let's take a bandage. We're getting a little too close. And I wanna check this. Ooh, wow. That is almost broken. Couldn't really see the cracks on it very well. Alright, let's see. This is all looking pretty good. Missed. How about the these down here? Those are really important to that we keep them um, repaired. Whatever that is, it's scary sounding. Okay, I want to see if Pumpkin can bleed. Um, yeah, he's bleeding. Okay. There's that damn spider again. It looks like he's climbing all the way in here. I should have, uh, next time I do this, I'm going to have some coffee with me because... Uh, I'm running out of steam a little, little bit here. Oh, how the hell did he hit me from there? For Pete's sake. Alright, we're gonna have to really be careful of him. Alright, here, let's take another one of these. That's what we're talking about. Beautiful. Down with the sickness.
want to try something. Um, here, actually, let's repair first. Alright, what happens if we throw it straight at that wall there? Uh, it'll... I want to see if I can bounce it down on the pathway. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt! <laughs> oh, no, I knew it! I knew it! Yeah, we gotta... If I'm gonna use explosives in, <laughs> in this design, I've got to... I need more room to get out of the way. I need, I need to be five blocks away from the bomb. Oh, for Pete's sake. Alright, well, whatever. It happens. Horde night's just about over, so... <laughs> I'm my worst enemy, man. I am my worst enemy. Okay, well... It sucks that it happened, but at least it happened right at the very end of Horde Night, so... What we're gonna do is... We're just going to run over to our mini bike and GTFO so they despawn. So it could work, I just, like I said, I need... I need a little more room So that, you know, if I miss throw or whatever, I'm not killing myself. I should probably patch that hole, huh? Let's just uh, take a quick look down by the garden and see uh, how it's doing. And then we'll come back and survey the situation. Okay, so... Um, we're still not getting this corner, but it looks like everything else is working. Those are done. I, I ended up actually putting some more water in here too, but these never, these never took at all. Uh, these are all done growing. Nice. Good. Okay. Cause this is all my hobo stew produce anyway. Coffee's done. It's just a couple here that didn't quite get get it. All right, so I don't know. I don't know if that means I need to go further out into the water or what the deal is. This water was apparently not consumed because there's no plants in this corner, so that kind of makes sense. I'm surprised these didn't at least start growing, though. Huh. Anyway, all right, let's go back and take a look. Oh, for Pete's sake. Yep, I'm my own worst enemy. <laughs> so, I'm going to think about this situation. I've obviously shown that this hard base works very well in terms of keeping me safe, as long as I don't kill myself, right? <laughs> um, and, you know, for future hordes, you just want to get it upgraded to steel and then maybe even eventually to polished steel. And as long as you keep it, you know, as long as you keep it repaired, um, you're pretty pretty much safe uh, in this design. The bad thing about it, as I've mentioned a couple of times now, is it doesn't, we don't get very much XP out of it, you know, by way of comparison. Um, so that's, you know, that's the downside uh, because I, I can't really effectively use explosives. So one thing we could do is I could break a hole in the wall here and have a path where I could stand further back um, cause if I could hit, you know, hit that block there, it should land on the path just like that. Right. And then the zombos should take some, you know, some pretty decent explosion damage. I still don't think it's going to be as good as an actual pit that's designed to do that, but, um, it would help, you know, it would help. So let's go around to the front. So maybe that's all I need to do is just extend it back so I can stand far enough back to where, you know, I'm still five blocks away from it, even if it doesn't make it. Let's see if we can get this before it disappears, because these will disappear in about 20 seconds or so after throwing it. So this bottom block never actually got completely broken because I can't reach it from the other side. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I'm, I'm impressed with, you know, the effectiveness of this base in terms of just keeping me safe you know, the survivability of it. But it's not a very good XP design unless I can 
you know, cut that out, stand back further, and, you know, throw the throw the pipe bombs here because then as I just showed you they'll land right on these stairs and you know any zombos within a five block radius are going to get the shit kicked out of them and that could significantly improve the performance of this base um you know what we need to do actually we need to get down below because there's probably some bags waiting down there for us um and they never they never broke the pathway for the whole horde night which is really good uh, I still want to upgrade the ramp down below here to, to steel. All right, here, let's quickly throw these on. Okay, we've got a nice wrench out of that and some ammo, a heist book, and some money and ammo. So this is actually in really, really good shape. I'm impressed. In fact, there's no damage whatsoever on this block, just a little bit here. Because uh, these stairs made a huge difference for their pathing, because they can just smoothly get up there. So this is great, man. I'm, I, you know, again, in spite of me blowing myself up, I'm really impressed with how well this base is doing. Uh, here, let's get that upgraded to reinforce too. And we'll, you know, once I can afford to do it, I'll, I'll get this upgraded to steel, uh, just to give, make it even that much stronger. You know, um, let's check the path on the way up. And make sure there's no damage to that. Don't care too much about the stone. But we're looking pretty good. So here's here's what's here's what's in my mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna carve out that that back area for me. And make sure the you know that it's it, we'll say six blocks away from the front. So if I miss throw. Um, I'm still far enough away to where I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna blow myself up. And we'll try this um on horde 72, 71, 71. We'll try this on horde 71 and see how it does. Uh, and if if I can start, you know, if I can make more kills and get you know a couple three levels at least, then we'll keep using this. If it doesn't work out very well, then I think I'm gonna go back to our original base. I'm gonna super reinforce the place and just, you know, use a basic pit and drop bombs on their heads and get a shit ton of XP on Horde Knight. Um, so there you go. I don't remember what I said my kills were. We got a total of 2903 uh, kills. Um, I'll have to go back in the video and, and look. But um, we got, we got basically got one level, uh, which isn't that great, you know. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um, other than upgrading, you know, the bottom area to steal if we can afford to do it the only thing i really need to do is um extend this out let's let's look at that really quick here all right so what we would basically do is um that's just splash damage from the pipe bomb Just checking the plates here. Okay, so basically the idea is that we bust out. Uh, I don't have my pick with me. These two blocks here, and go back a minimum of six blocks. So I just run back here. I aim the pipe at that block and see how it does. You know, sometimes the pipe's gonna fall off, of course, and but many times, you know, hopefully it'll it'll land there and and blow them up. So I'm I'm curious. Don't, don't repair that. You gotta bring it out. <laughs> I'm curious to see how well that's going to do. Might do some upgrading of this too. Just, I don't know. I, I'd feel a little safer if this whole cage that we're in was all concrete. Uh, but, you know, the concrete's been the struggle, of course. So, let's see, I don't have my pick, right? Okay. So, yeah, I'll work on that, guys, uh, off camera. And when I get it ready, uh, get it to the point where I think it's ready, I'll, I'll of course, uh, update you guys on that sometime before Horde uh, 70. Or two, 72. No, 71. Yeah, word 71. Okay. Well, um, let's see. What are we going to do? I think what I'm going to do is just wrap things up here. Uh, this might be a little bit shorter episode, depending upon how I edit. And then I'm going to go do the garden and um, get that done. And then we'll probably... What should we do next? Since we're going to try this one more time, uh, I think we're going to stay here for at least one more week before we really seriously start thinking about moving. 
And uh, here, let's upgrade that. And then maybe next week, in-game week, so after Horde 71. Uh, no, Horde 70. Why do I keep saying 71? Horde 70. Um, after Horde 70, then I think we're going to really start seriously thinking about moving down south. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and make sure you don't blow yourself up on Horde Night because that is not a good thing to do. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Smash.